In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So we pray the prayer of St. Alphonsus, linking ourselves spiritually in communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you have already come, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. But I also remember, Kian, in the Mass intention in our prayers this day, he will be laid to rest later this day, so I ask you particularly to pray for him, the young child, and for his family. Also remember Doreen Bowen, who's unwell at this moment in time. As we gather as God's holy people, we ask our Father's forgiveness now for our own failings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us the everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So let us pray. O God, from whom all good comes, grant that we, who call on you in our need, may it shall prompt him to discern what is right, and by your guidance to it. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Elijah reached Horah, the mountain of God, he went into the cave and spent the night in it. Then he was told, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And the Lord himself went by. There came a mighty wind, so strong it tore the mountains, and shattered the rocks before the Lord. The Lord was not in the wind. After the wind came an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After fire came, there came a sound, a gentle breeze. And when Elijah heard this, he covered his face with his cloak, went out and stood in the entrance to the cave. Then a voice came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I am filled with jealousy over the Lord of hosts, because the sons of Israel have visited you, broken down your altars and put your prophets to the sword. I am the only one left, and they want to kill me. Go, the Lord said. Go back the same way to the wilderness, wilderness of Damascus. You are to go and anoint Hezal, king of Adam. You are to anoint Jeru, son of Nimesh, king of Israel, and to anoint Elisha, son of Japhat, of Abel Mahor, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Response to the psalm, it is your face, O Lord, that I seek. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. O Lord, hear my voice when I call, have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken, seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek, hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in your anger, you have been my help. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. I'm sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hope firm, take heart. Hope in the Lord. It is your face, O Lord, that I see. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. You will shine in the world like bright stars, because you are offering it in a world of light. Alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to 
Samaria. Jesus said to his disciples, You've learned how to be saved. You must not commit adultery. But I say this to you. If a man looks at a woman lustfully, he's already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right, right eye should cause you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of you than to have your whole body thrown into hell. And if your right hand should cause you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of you than have your whole body go to hell. It's also been said, anyone who divorces his wife must give her a writ of dismissal. But I say this to you, anyone who divorces his wife except in case of fornication makes her an adulteress. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we turn in prayer to God our Father and ask his blessings on our homes, our parishes, our friends, our relatives. Remember all those who ask for our prayers. Remember all those affected by the coronavirus. Pray for all those in care homes and nursing homes. Pray for Pope's intention and for the number of special intentions. Remember all those who suffer long term ill health in homes, in hospitals, or in their private homes. We pray for all those who have been entered into our Golden Book of Remembrance, for our children, for our schools. Lord, because of those we pray for, give them the precious gift of faith, and strength, and love and charity. Also grant eternal rest to all the faithful parties. He's praying especially for Keenan and his family. May they all rest in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we receive this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. Let's be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all the creation, and to your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, and become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours. May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and of all His holy church. But kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to You, and so lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and mighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created mankind, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together in exaltation. May our voices be praised join with theirs, as in humble praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic prayer is number two. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread and given you thanks for it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take the soul of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, the spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to the eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. To the Saviour's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So let us offer each other a spiritual sign of that peace. Just with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold he who comes to take away the sins of our world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So let's join each other in spiritual communion. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. And so let us pray. May the healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and so lead us to do what is right, through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's go glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. So let's pray for relief from the coronavirus. Heavenly Father, who sent the ten plagues to feed his children and protect those children by the blood of the Lamb, bless all those now affected by the coronavirus. Encourage and strengthen those who seek a cure. Protect all who work in the NHS, in care homes, or guard our streets, or keep our society running. May your holy angels guard us and bring us safely through this time of trial. And may your holy mother Mary care for us as she did for the sick child Jesus. We ask this for the same Christ, our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Luke the Physician, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Saint David, pray for us. We remember Kian, as I said earlier, and we remember his family. We remember all those who have died, either through the coronavirus or through all their illnesses. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and that perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and souls of all our faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Please, once again, do take care. Um, over the weekend there is the great feast of Corvus Christi. Do take time, maybe um, say some extra prayers with, for yourselves there. Um, we will try and do a, um, maybe a 20 minute um, YouTube cast with the, uh, with the exposition there. So maybe join into that later on in the afternoon there, on Sunday afternoon, and pray with the Blessed Sacrament on the fall of the Blessed Sacrament. Be united in spiritualness. Let us always be joyful and keep our faith. God bless.